That's all set. Okay, great. Okay, everyone, thank you so much for taking some time out of your day today um, to learn a little bit about our new GWN 7660. Uh, we are really excited about this device. It's our new Wi-Fi 6 access point. Uh, before we get going, though, my name is Brian Bandmeter. I'm a marketing manager here at Grandstream Networks. And throughout the presentation, if you have any questions, please feel free to go ahead and use the Q&A feature if you're watching this afterwards, uh, either on any of our social media platforms or uh, via YouTube as well. Feel free to leave any questions you may have in the comments. We'll be able to help you out there. But we're talking about the GWN 7660 today, our new Wi-Fi 6 access point. So a little bit about the GWN series our complete Wi-Fi access point offering. Uh, it's a powerful networking solution, so it offers uh, some powerful Wi-Fi access points that provide some high network performance, industry-leading coverage ranges, fast provisioning, and multiple management options. So if you're not familiar with the series, we have our indoor access points, our GWN 7630, 7615, 7605, 7602, and 7660, which of course is our new access point that we're going to be talking about today. And our outdoor access points, which are 7600 LR, 7605 LR, and 7630 LR. These are all our long range weatherproof options. So the competitive differentiators of our GWN series, if you're not familiar with the full series at all, uh, we have a wide range of devices. So the portfolio delivers a diverse offering in both price point and feature set. Uh, the low price point and entry level uh, to our long range and high bandwidth access points. So you really have just a wide portfolio to sort of create this perfect solution for your clients. Advanced features. so beam forming, so our access points uh, focuses wireless signals to the clients, uh, multiple SSIDs, which makes for highly customized uh, networks, QoS, quality of service standards, which prioritizes certain network traffic over others, maintaining a stable bandwidth connection from our APs at all times, and of course captive portals, customized landing page features, just for having those public Wi-Fi networks. So when it comes to network management, as well with our series, so we actually have three options, our GWN Cloud, the GWN Manager, and our Embedded Controller. All of these are, of course, completely free features. GWN Cloud is our cloud-based uh, platform for configuring, managing, troubleshooting. GWN Manager is essentially an on-premise version of GWN Cloud. And of course, you have our embedded controller. Uh, and last but not least, the client configuration. Uh, you can get a wide range of client configurations with our access points from creating a blacklist, completely changing up the connection time, so enforcing timeout and client connections. Uh, client limits, so you can actually set maximum uh, capacity of clients on SSIDs. And last but not least, bandwidth bandwidth rules, excuse me. Uh, so there's a variety of rules uh, that can adjust client bandwidth usage. Okay. But today we're here to talk about the GWN 7660, our new access point in our very first Wi-Fi 6 access point that's getting added to our portfolio. Uh, so this added uh, for this device has a wireless throughput uh, of 1.77 gigabits per second. Uh, it's a 2x2x2 two by two by two dual band MUMIMO array. Of course, OFMDA technology is used in this, which we'll get into in a little bit, but it's one of the many advantages that Wi-Fi 6 brings uh, to wireless connections. It has a coverage range of up to 175 meters. We actually have advanced QoS standards on this particular access point that really ensures real-time performance of low latency applications. Of course, we have that same enterprise-grade security features that's across all of our access points, ensuring that any data that's going between the access point and any clients is as encrypted as possible. 
make sure that the Wi-Fi access point itself uh, is completely secure. Uh, with our embedded controller, any access point can manage up to 50 local GWN series access points, but there's also some other Wi-Fi management options, such as, like I said earlier, GWN Cloud, which offers unlimited AP management, and GWN Manager, which offers an on-premise-based software uh, controller that's free to download. So to understand the GWN 7660, we kind of have to look a little bit into Wi-Fi 6. Uh, so, you know, why Wi-Fi 6 to begin with? Well, Wi-Fi 6 comes with major features that improves a wireless network, uh, such as OFMDA and improved Mumimo uplink and download, downlink, excuse me. Uh, but both of these features would allow for the access point to better manage bandwidth, increase the crowd environments, providing a better experience to the users. So essentially, Wi-Fi 6 is great for incredibly high volume deployments. So areas where you have a lot of clients all connecting simultaneously. So looking at some of the enhancements, uh, like I said earlier, Mumimo, so it allows the access point to communicate with multiple users by transmitting data frames on multiple spatial streams uh, to increase capacity. So this just means that that data rate can be transferred across tons of different devices at a much quicker rate, handing off from device to, to, to device, ensuring real-time connection between all of these devices. OFDMA, which is a Wi-Fi 6 exclusive feature, allows the access point to communicate with multiple users by actually kind of participating, excuse me, partitioning the channel into sub-channels. And this helps increase the efficiency of the device as well. 1024 QAM. So this basically means that there are more bits per symbol. So 10 bits per symbol uh, when it comes to the Wi-Fi connection, uh, which helps increase data rates by approximately 25% with the access point. BSS coloring, which is a method that's actually used by the access point to reduce medium contention overhead uh, due to co-channel interference, essentially meaning that devices can more easily connect, not have interference issues, sudden dropouts, and Wi-Fi connection. Longer OF, excuse me, OFDM symbol, so this increases the resilience to multipath propagation uh, due to a longer guard interval. And last but not least, Wi-Fi 6 does have target wake-up time. Uh, so this is a power-saving method implemented through TWT frame exchange between the actual access point and the client to schedule client sleep time. So essentially, if a client device is not utilizing that Wi-Fi connection, it won't be drawing uh, the power from that device consistently. So this is also just better for client devices such as laptops, phones, et cetera, uh, to sort of help extend that battery usage within those devices themselves by not constantly trying to tax a Wi-Fi connection when one is not needed. So talking a little bit in, about OFMDA, uh, which is a pretty big feature of Wi-Fi 6. So it's all about maximizing your uh, transmission efficiency. So here's a very simplified uh, kind of graphic with it. In Wi-Fi 6, when it came to our frequency, uh, each sort of channel had to be taken one at a time, uh, no matter how much load there was, basically. So the frequencies would be taken across, and it'd be one at a time across your time period. Uh, but this, of course, even as you can see on the left, even if with our channels, have very low bandwidth usage, there's no real kind of prioritization. Uh, so this could sometimes lag networks that have a lot of different users uh, utilizing a Wi-Fi connection across various different frequencies. With Wi-Fi 6, uh, we can actually sort of packet these channels together. So essentially we're able to, for example, take four of those frequencies with two of the other ones, bundle it together uh, for that connection. So essentially, instead of being it, having to go one at a time, check every single Wi-Fi frequency, then create the connection between device and access point, Wi-Fi 6 is able to actually packet these connections together. 
which of course is great for uh, which is great for many devices simultaneously utilizing a network connection. So MooMemo, uplink and downlink. Uh, this allows the access point to transmit uh, and receive using multiple antennas concurrently. This is a very big feature for Wi-Fi 6 as well, a big improvement over Wi-Fi 5, which is great for multiple devices. But this allows for a medium capacity when it comes to Wi-Fi uh, to be increased on the 802.11ax Wi-Fi 6 frequency. So it improves uh, your efficiency by using much less airtime between devices. Uh, so with uh, Wi-Fi 6, an access point can kind of currently serve uh, eight users concurrently. Uh, so essentially, there's eight users at the Wi-Fi access point in you know matter of very fast intervals can serve those users before having to switch off, maintain the bandwidth connection between other users, uh, and cycle through all the various users within your deployment. So this allows for a better connection uh, for mid-range volumes as well. So Moomimo also works best with stationary clients and in low density uh, wireless environment. All right, and BSS covering, coloring, uh, but this just simply helps reduce channel uh, overlap problems when it comes to Wi-Fi 6. So essentially when you have multiple channels and multiple access points all kind of serving within the same area, uh, without BSS, or excuse me, BCC coloring, uh, you would sometimes have multiple channels overlapping over each other and clients would get confused with these connections. Well, with BCC coloring, uh, this is no longer a issue because those clients then can all connect to a specific channel across all access points. And those channels can actually be a little bit more categorized with Wi-Fi 6 so you don't have big overlapping issues and confuse, confusion with client devices. Of course, our Wi-Fi, our GWN7660 is also a dual-band Wi-Fi device. So at 2.4 gigahertz, you have 8 megabits, up to uh, 573. 5 gigahertz, all the way up to 1,201. But this provides a total wireless throughput of 1.77 gigabits per second. And for this device as well, we do support up to 256 concurrent Wi-Fi devices. So up to 256 client devices can be connected at one time. So thanks to Wi-Fi 6 technology, it's able to really handle incredibly uh, high number of concurrent devices uh, without sacrificing on our performance, especially with that OFMDA technology we were talking about earlier. All right, and our Wi-Fi 6 GWN7660 is part of the Wi-Fi Alliance. It is certified. So the Wi-Fi Alliance, if you're unfamiliar, is a worldwide network of companies uh, that's bringing Wi-Fi, uh, so one of the world's most valuable communications technology, of course, uh, in our vision is to connect everyone in everything everywhere. Uh, Wi-Fi Alliance drives global Wi-Fi adoption and evolution through thought leadership, spectrum advocacy, and industry-wide collaboration. We are Wi-Fi 6 certified when it comes to GWN 7660, which basically just means our 7660 has undergone rigorous testing with the product, their product pass tests successfully as well. So this certification means that the product has been tested in numerous configurations with diverse samples of other devices to validate interoperability with other certified Wi-Fi equipment operating the same frequency band. Essentially just meaning that our GWN7660 has this certification and is guaranteed to have its efficiency working within your deployments. 
All right, so just talking about a little bit our, our deployment examples. So our GWN Cloud, for example, connects through your internet, so any kind of management of the Wi-Fi devices can be done remotely. And then within an actual deployment, the access points are connected through an Ethernet connection, which then provide a Wi-Fi connection to offices, conference rooms, and of course to any sort of Wi-Fi IP phones, any kind of smart technology, uh, any IoT Wi-Fi compatible devices, uh, and of course your standard wireless devices, such as your laptops, tablets, anything that your clients' workers may be utilizing within their average workday. So just looking at a few quick deployment scenarios, uh, looking at our office building, commercial, and education sectors. So within office buildings, medium and large offices can actually utilize the GWN 7660, uh, but it is a hard leverage for them to create a mobile working environment for spaces with extremely high wireless usage. Uh, so OFDMA and Advanced Mumimo sort of helps create a Wi-Fi connection that can provide a rapid connection for network devices. So even with low network devices, Advanced Mumimo is fantastic uh, to be able to maintain an incredibly fast connection with those. And OFDMA can be leveraged uh, for our high density deployments where there may be a lot of workers within a floor moving and a lot of different uh, Wi-Fi devices needing to be connected. Uh, On-site IT teams can also easily manage, configure, and troubleshoot a Wi-Fi network on their own. So this it can be utilized with either GWN Cloud as a management option, uh, GWN Manager for an on-site software controller, uh, or even the embedded controller. There's a lot of great ways uh, to manage these Wi-Fi networks all at the same time, all these diverse access points um, all at once. And of course, within an atypical office deployment, uh, our QoS standards can help organize the many different devices competing for bandwidth. So basically, this is prioritizing clients based on uh, Wi-Fi quality requirements. But this just maintains a high performance for all clients and all client devices. All right, within commercial stores, uh, these can utilize the GWN series to create Wi-Fi environments for both guests and staff. So you can have multiple network SSIDs with our devices. Uh, so this would be able to provide a, a client configuration and a network uh, for guests. So both staff and guests can utilize a Wi-Fi connection at the same time and have two different networks dedicated for them. Uh, captive portals, of course, can be used to secure public Wi-Fi channels. So the captive portals could have login requirements. They will require a generated password as well to make sure that there are the people connecting to the Wi-Fi are indeed utilizing uh, the store, the hotel, etc., cetera, uh, utilizing those premises. And they are customers. And last but not least, bandwidth options can also be set to maintain a stable connection for employees regardless of public Wi-Fi usage. So basically, the public SSID can have set bandwidth configurations with the employee Wi-Fi connections uh, completely unthrottled. So like I said, this essentially maintains a stable connection for employees no matter what. All right, and our last deployment example is within the education sector. Uh, so the 76 series uh, can really be helpful for both staff and students uh, to stay productive, especially in education environments where we're seeing uh, Wi-Fi devices like laptops, tablets, et cetera, uh, leveraged more and more as teaching tools as well. So with client configuration, uh, students can gain access to Wi-Fi during specific times through certain access points or with whitelisted devices. Uh, so you'd be able to sort of completely customize the way that the students could actually access the Wi-Fi environment depending on what the school would like, depending on uh, what the actual education system is. Uh, so of course this is very important for schools because they just they want to make sure that students are utilizing Wi-Fi in the way that they are being educated and it's not a distraction to them. Uh, so Wi-Fi network can also easily be adjusted for year-to-year -year needs as student levels fluctuate. 
very simple to just go ahead, log on to GWN Cloud or that on-site controller. In advancements made with Wi-Fi 6 technology sort of meets the demand of a high volume wireless environments. Uh, so Wi-Fi 6 technology with OFMDA, for example, can be able to handle these much higher volume uh, connections. So if you have many students within, for example, a lecture hall uh, or classroom, having to all simultaneously utilize a Wi-Fi connection for education purposes, a single Wi-Fi 6 access point would have much better connection and bandwidth uh, features. It would help a lot for this. All right, and last but not least, uh, just to kind of talk really quickly about our management options for our GWN series. Like I said, we have the embedded controller, our GWN Cloud, and the GWN Manager. But these are all great management options uh, that really helps uh, make this GWN deployments for you guys, our customers, um, you know, very easy, very streamlined, and to give the most control possible. Uh, these are all free options as well. Uh, in once again, uh, embedded, so all of our access points can manage up to a certain amount. Just be sure to check the data sheet of other access points. GWN Cloud, though, uh, is completely free to use. It's a cloud-based platform. There's no limit to the number of access points you can manage. They can even be organized into different deployment sites as well. Uh, and our GWN Manager, which is a free download, can manage up to 3,000 access points, and this is a local server deployment. So in deployments where they don't want to have a cloud solution, probably for security purposes, GWN Manager would be a great on-site option for that. So GWN Cloud, so you can manage networks from anywhere using our web browser, GWN Cloud app. Works with all of our Grandstream access points, and it provides real-time AP and client monitoring, integrated statistics, reports, alerts, streamlines your network configuration process, and a really easy-to-use web user interface. Uh, if you're deploying our devices, honestly, I highly, highly, highly recommend setting up an account. It just makes your life a lot easier as an installer. Uh, but you can set this up at gwn.cloud slash register, uh, or if you just want to learn more, go to gwn.cloud on any web browser. Uh, so GWN Manager, which is our on-premise platform, like I said, it's software-based, but it, once again, works with all Grandstream access points, provides that real-time access point and client monitoring, integrated statistics, uh, network-based AP management, uh, but it does have bank-grade TLS encryption from end to end, just to make sure that it's completely secure. And built-in captive portals, and X509 certified-based authentication. All right, so that concludes our presentation today on the GWN 7660.